G'day everyone, I hope you're all well. So, this is new from Mini Art out this month. As soon as I saw this was coming, I had to have it. I love it. I love some of the World War I vehicles. This just looks fantastic. Now, I've built their B type lorry, the normal one. I'll insert picture here. It was extremely fun to build and it was a great kit so I'm guessing this will be much the same yeah. Sprue tree map and call outs, number call outs. Uh, we got a photo etch, fret, and our decal sheet. We have color call outs in Vallejo, Mr. Color, AK Real Color, Mission Models, Ammo Mig, Tamiya. You cannot ask for much more than that. Unfortunately, I use several of those brands. So it starts with the engine. I won't bore you, I will just show you where we're going. On to the chassis. Mini art are highly detailed in the fact that there is a lot of parts, high parts counts to their kits, and a lot of small parts, so there's a lot of a lot of fiddly bits, so to say, trimming up and that, but uh, really nice detail. I think, uh, yeah, it's worth the effort. Uh, radiator, firewall, uh, diff, uh, springs, which were back here, spring, leaf springs, uh, and then our steering from memory it's well it would be well that would be the same as the one I did it's just the armor on the outside will be different the other wheels I think you see just a lot of parts happening just on one wheel uh, lights There's some photo etch going on to the lights um, Cabin floor is timber. That's another thing I like about World War One gear. You got a mix of metal and timber. So those of you who love the weathering of timber, joy joyous times. Ah, uh, exhaust. Um, then we're just putting on that. We got a fire extinguisher going in, uh, crank handle, and then we're on to the uh, armored section of it. Uh, then into the rear deck or the back of it with which is armored as well but it'll have the timber floor uh, so like I'm talking tiny parts you know these are just very small so it's fiddly as in when you're getting it off the sprue and and cleaning them up careful not to have parts pinging off into the distance and then finally a boarding ladder grab handles uh, I love it it just looks great so that's the one right there that I did and what I like about mini art is their box art is brilliant and that box art for that kit inspired me to do a similar style uh, build and there's only one Color scheme for this, and it's the the Motor Bandits Royal Naval Air Service Dunkirk Antwerp 1914. Even this diagram of it, they've they've weathered the vehicle, it gives you a bit of inspiration. All right, uh, have we got a peely bag? No, we have to cut it. So I'm going to be building this, but I will not be doing 
a video for it because uh, the last armoured I did didn't get a lot of views so I'm guessing people aren't interested in me doing armour so aircraft, aircraft sorry, seems to get more of a hit so stick to the aircraft eh? Alright so here we oh, I'm just going randomly here but here you can see the I'll take photos uh, close up so you can see better the details so great detail sharp crisp just tiny parts you know it's uh but like I said cleaning up they be careful they don't you go know, pinging out of your hand it can be awkward to handle them so you got your wheels uh, mud guards uh, we've got some a couple engine parts on there this there'll be Carefully. Two should be two of the same, yes. Identical sprues. Oh, all of that. I won't get it out the bag as yeah. Clear parts. This is only going to be for lights. And I'll have a look at the. Okay. So that's your decals. It's not much happening there. It's just your. Royal Navy and a number plate, a photo etch, uh, yeah it's different, uh, it's part of the uh, rear section, I keep wanting to say ute but I think that's an Aussie term. Pick up there, yeah, the Americans. Uh, that's a dual sprue as well. All right, I'll leave that one last. That's got the interesting. Uh, now we're on to the engine parts. Uh, steering wheel, steering column. Um, bit of there's a bit of flash, like whether molds meet so there'll be a bit of clean up there and another small parts there's a fire extinguisher crank handle uh, mirror mounts bit of exhaust on there uh, So we got the springs, uh, steering, engine, casing, uh, yeah. chassis. It's got really nice detail on it. And we're up to the interior of your the cab and the exterior of the engine side of it on the firewall. And you can see they, they texture the timber sections. It's got wood grain into it. And now on to the armour, which is different to the kit I built, obviously. And we got there. So it'll be the uh, engine side. And the deck of the rear section so again it's not as pronounced as that other piece but it actually doesn't have it the wood grain mold into it but it's a nice flat piece you can uh, weather it timber wise how you want to and that's it I uh, just love the look of this can't wait to start this so i'll i'll just show updates here and now how i'm going with the build when i get into it so there you go mini arts a british b-type lorry armored version